Enjoy watching. Subscribe. Like. And. Share. Panic buying is it the survival instinct or greed? Has the survival instinct taken over? Are we like squirrels hiding their nuts? Is this why we as a population are behaving in this idiotic manner? How long does a bar of soap or a soap dispenser last? More than a week I would think, even with plenty of hand washing, and don't people usually have a spare in their homes anyway? Cleaning materials, are we suddenly all spring cleaning? Toilet rolls what on earth are people buying a massive surplus for? Not to mention fresh vegetables, has everyone turned vegan? I couldn't believe it yesterday when my granddaughter rang me yesterday and told me the shelves in her local supermarket were empty. All the soaps and cleaning materials had gone, also long life milk and fresh vegetables. The toilet roll aisle was empty. Later I was to discover the same had happened in our supermarket. What are people hoarding toilet rolls for, we are only self-isolating for a week. What are they going to do with dozens of toilet rolls, tissues would be more appropriate with flu-like symptoms. When I previously heard it on the TV I thought it was an isolated incident, obviously not. Now I can understand a little bit of stockpiling of food items, not that you are likely to feel hungry with a virus but a few extra eggs or a tin of two of soup, a loaf of bread for the freezer etc. Would make sense and be reasonable, surely most people have enough of most things in their freezer to last a week. We are only told to isolate for seven days. It's a bit like Christmas or bank holidays where people leave the shop with hideously piled trolleys to return for more two days later. Does the surplus go in the dustbin for landfill, or is that why so many people are obese, or too plentiful supplies? I was a wartime baby and for several years we survived on meager rations eked out with home-grown vegetables. This developed ingenious measures from the housewives producing nourishing meals from next to nothing. I remember bones for dinner, was my favorite, which was a thin tasty soup made from bones and vegetables. However the nation wasn't obese and certainly a lot healthier. We as a population have become selfish and greedy without much of the wartime spirit, let's hope when the virus really hits people start to stop and think before they empty the supermarket in future, and they start thinking of their neighbors and the elderly. Now both my 99-year-old mother and I are in the high-risk zone, but we can only act sensibly, not visit crowded places etc. And hope the fact we live in a village will give us a degree of protection. Or maybe if we are going to catch the virus, now is the time before the hospitals are swamped. Whatever will be, will be. The fast spread of the virus has been hastened by travel but even in the Middle Ages the Black Death was brought to the country by a merchant and it soon spread like wildfire. I have been reading some suggestions from an alternative medicine book and it would seem garlic is an excellent viral inhibitor, as a selenium, found in Brazil nuts. Vitamins C and E are immune boosters. Perhaps we should all be taking muli vitamins as a precaution and eating more fruit. Garlic is also available in no-taste pills. Perhaps buying these instead of toilet rolls would be more help. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And. Don't forget to click the bell button. Like and share.